couple of weeks ago I had a bit of an interesting job. I had to go and look at a narrow boat and um, bow thrusters, steel tubes. This is the section that's actually been cut out of the boat uh, because we found a bit of a problem with this bow thruster tube. So I'm going to take you on a little journey inside. So the first thing I've got here I actually put a bit of rope around it just to make it easier to pick up is the location of where the actual bow thruster motor was located so I guess just put it in there and that's and my finger is there so that's where the bow thruster motor was located well, I'm actually going to take you on a little journey inside the bow thruster tube now and can you see all those deep pits that are going on in there well that's what I saw with my camera and as I just rotate it round, ignore those that big hole there, which I've got my thumb over. That's where I had to use a blowtorch to cut part of the uh, framework out. But certainly all the other pits and holes, like this one here, this hole here, is purely caused by corrosion. Uh, so, what's really interesting on this one is obviously the extent of corrosion. But if you look, if I take you a bit further inside the tube here, where we've had it removed, there's barely any corrosion, there's a few little pits, but nothing massive, uh, against where the propeller, the bow thruster was moving. And I'll just take you back there, you can see all that. And that's from where the bow thruster has been moving and, and thrusting around, chucking all that grit and dirt and stuff into the wall of the, of the tube. Uh, and here's an end section, so you can see the end there. But can you see that this is, tube is only like five mil thick? Now, I think that's a bit thin uh, from new. Some some firms would probably certainly disagree with me, but I just look at it and think, why why have a five mil tube? You could have a lot thicker than this, and and also making it accessible to actually protect it. So protection is really important. What's really interesting is from the outside. The, the tube where I hit it here with a hammer has started failing and you can just see that tiny little hole there has gone right through the 5 mil tube in what is only about 10 years. So if you have got a bow thruster tube or a bow thruster or even a stern thruster on your narrow boat and it's steel, have a bloody good look at it, check that it's okay, don't be fighting to uh, have it cleaned out and take the propeller off and have a good look in those areas I've shown you where that pitting develops uh, but be, just be a bit on top of it because it's quite a common problem uh, the yard I went to actually had five other bow thruster tubes they'd already removed this year uh, and sometimes you think to yourself well for the sake of it is it worth having the bow thruster I'm sure a lot of you will disagree with me on that one uh, and the other thing is where the tube is fitted in the narrow boat make sure that it, there's actually a proper watertight bulkhead inside the vessel because again some of these boats where the bow thrusters are fitted they're in front of the water tank and there's no bun wall so if the water if the bow thruster starts to fail or should I say the bow thruster tube uh, starts to fail then then there's a high risk that your boat could sink and as you can see from the size of the, the pitting here you know it this is this is quite excessive in in the, in the period of time so there we are, nice little, uh, I haven't done one of those for, for a long time, bow thruster tubes, hope you find that of use.